24 hours ago, Sarah, driving home, don't know about you, but ran into some more snowflakes. I know we had Lena out there in it. I mean, it was quite a day yesterday. I was very glad to see the sun today and the grass again. Yeah. And me meteorologist Matt Standers has been keeping an eye on that. Tell us we'll see it again tomorrow, Matt. <laughs> uh, well, thankfully, all these snow showers are, are starting to, to head out of here. You can kind of see it behind me. We had a couple raindrops today. A couple snow flurries were in Pennsylvania, but this is the last of them. So Russ and Sarah, as you're headed home tonight, there's a 99% chance you should be good, right, as you head out the door. So let's talk about the next uh, couple of days because we have some nice weather coming in for your Friday. I think your Friday is going to end the week on a very great note across Northeast Ohio because when you expand the view and you look towards the Western Great Lakes, we've got clear skies. Those clear skies are moving in as we speak. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be mostly sunny. Now, it's hard not to notice some of the rain across the Ozarks and the Plains. This rain will start to arrive this weekend. I think we'll squeeze by on your Friday dry, but by Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon, some of this rain will start to move on through. But you got one good day coming as this low pressure will track towards our south. Now, the actual trajectory takes it right along the, the Ohio River. And so the heaviest rain should stay towards our south. Here in northeast Ohio, we're going to be dealing with kind of a light rain on and off throughout the weekend. So not a big deal, but... Uh, we'll have to watch out for that for sure. But overnight tonight, we'll probably dip into those mid 30s. Right now, we're in the upper 30s and we're continuing to cool down. But here's your forecast preview for tomorrow, brought to you by National Design Mart. Uh, we'll be mostly sunny, I think, in the morning. There may be a few extra clouds in the afternoon, but the temperatures will be in the upper 50s. Today, we got to the upper 40s, so we'll add another 10 degrees to the thermometer tomorrow afternoon. Here's your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. We have a light southwest wind out there right now. It'll become more westerly throughout tomorrow as we probably start in those 30s and 40s. But look by 2 o'clock. A lot of us in the upper 50s, some of us trying to briefly hit 60. That'll feel nice, especially when you're in the sunshine. I think your Friday is going to be a great day. No complaints here. Temperatures are about average for this time of year. But then notice by Saturday morning, this is 8 o'clock. The clouds start to move in. And as we press towards the afternoon, eventually some of the rain will move in as well. I'm not really expecting any kind of thunderstorm activity with it. It's just kind of a, a light, annoying rain that's going to be moving through. And most of this rain is going to be falling Saturday night and into early Sunday morning for a lot of us while we're sleeping. On Sunday, we could have a couple stray showers. So we're still kind of to looking towards the weekend. If you're trying to plant anything, maybe you're trying to mow after the snow just got on your lawn. Probably Saturday morning would be the best chance. And then by the afternoon, some of that rain will start to move on through. How much rain are we talking about? Maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch. That's over two days. So that's not a lot. It's not going to be too heavy, but it's going to be around for this weekend. So we'll be watching that for sure. But the better news comes now. So this weekend, 50s, some rain showers. But by next week, we're going to have a south wind that really starts to kick in. Guys, we're headed towards 80 degrees, I think, by Tuesday, very close to that on Wednesday. By the end of the week, we slowly start to cool down a little bit more, but we have a better chance for some rain coming in. We're talking about with the NFL draft, we have a good chance for maybe a system trying to push through Cleveland. But Becerra, 80 degrees. We don't always put that this time of year, but we're expecting that next week. It is always good to see you when we do see it. All right, Matt, thanks so much.